by Jacqueline Millen. Elizabeth J. Cochran, a.k.a. Nellie Bly. Elizabeth Cochran, born on May 5, 1864, in a small town in Pennsylvania. The town was named in honor of her family, Cochran Mill. Journalist Nellie Bly began writing for the Pittsburgh Dispatch in 1885. Two years later, Bly moved to New York City and began working for the New York World. Background and Info What societal norm did she break? She broke the norm in which women were only meant to be in the kitchen and look over the house. Bly had intentions to be something bigger in life, and that's what she did. Consequences for her elections Aspiring for a more meaningful career, she traveled to Mexico to serve as a foreign correspondent. She regularly sent articles reporting about the lives and customs of Mexican people which were later published as a book titled, Six Months in Mexico. Nellie Bly was ousted from Mexico after she ran a series of articles criticizing the Mexican dictator and ruler, Porfirio Diaz. Returning to Pittsburgh, she temporarily continued working for the Pittsburgh Dispatch before leaving for New York City in 1887. At New York, she soon found herself a job at Joseph Pulitzer's newspaper, New York World. One of her early assignments was to investigate reports of brutality and neglect at the Women's Lunatic Asylum on Blackwell's Island. For the same, she feigned insanity to get into the asylum and have a first-hand experience of the treatment meted out to patients. Effects they had on society or the world Nellie Bly went against the normal standards for women of this time period because along with being among the first female newspaper reporters and, for a while, by far the most famous, the adventurous Nellie, born Elizabeth Jane Cochran, exemplified both the progressive spirit of America's press in the 1880s and its tabloid tendencies. Thoughts and Opinions In my opinion, Nellie Bly was one of the most inspiring women in U.S. history. Bly changed the game entirely taking drastic measures to get the real intel on what happened behind closed doors. For example, her work, which was later reprinted as a book titled Ten Days in a Madhouse, spurred a large-scale investigation of the institution as well as the much-needed improvements in health care. I find it amazing that she was able to spread some light on those women that were being treated so harshly on that island, but thanks to Bly they were able to get better help.